Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're doing well and having a great day. In this video, I want to compare the RTX 2060 Super, 2070 Super, and 2080 Super in terms of hash rates. Okay, mining hash rates. And I have made single videos outlining all of the hash rates for each of the cards already. So many of you guys may have seen the 2060 Super video that I did, the 2070 Super video, and then the 2080 Super video. And I did these all in a span of, I guess, the past couple months. I did the 2060 Super on July 16th, the 2070 on August 6th, and the 2080 Super on September 22nd of 2019. So I have a lot of hash rates here of all the different coins, for most of the coins anyway. and. We're going to compare them here and at the near the end of the video I'll give my opinion on which one is the better buy. If we were just like theoretically speaking just buying any of these cards for mining, okay? Cuz they're new and obviously they cost a lot. So, I'll give my opinion near the end. So, let's go through here and let's figure out which one is the best. We'll start with Ethereum ETH hash algorithm on the RTX 2060 Super 8 GB card. I was able to get 42 mega hash at 125 watts and that was with 71% power limit, minus 200 core and plus 900 memory. Okay. Now let's go to the 2070 super I was able to get 44.4 mega hash at 126 watts at 58 power limit, minus 200 core, plus 1200 memory. Okay. So about 200, uh, 2 mega hash more than the 2060 Super at about the same wattage, power consumption. Now, the 2080 Super, I was able to get 42.9 mega hash at 120 watts at 50% power limit, minus 200 core, plus 1200 memory. So judging by these numbers here, it looks, I, I feel in my opinion, the 2070 Super is the better hash rate number uh, power consumption. I mean, they're all pretty. They're all pretty close to each other, to be honest. Uh, they all have eight gigabytes of RAM, all that good stuff. But another thing I wanted to show now is these other coins here. The other, the other algorithms mainly: uh, Ravencoin, Vertcoin, Aeon, Zero, Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin Interest, uh, Grin, Beam, A Eternity, a whole bunch more here. Now, there's a lot of disparity uh, between all three of these cards. So, example. Uh, let's let's do. I'm gonna skip Ravencoin because now that there's X16RV2, uh, yeah, I'm gonna skip that. So now let's go. Let's just take a look at Vertcoin for example. So Vertcoin on the 2060 Super, I'm able to get 50.9 mega hash at 125 watts. The 2070 Super able to get 56.04 mega hash at 124 watts, or at 70 power limit, I'm able to get 57 mega hash. Okay, so about one mega hash more but utilizing about 50 watts more so the obviously better efficiency is at 58 uh, 58 power limit plus 100 core plus 800 memory for the 2070 super now the real real strange like disparity here is the 2080 super on vertcoin the 2080 super is getting 51.89 mega hash at 125 watts you guys see here, the 2070 Super can get 56, but the 2080 can only get 51.89 at the same power consumption. Isn't that weird? Isn't, isn't the 2080 Super supposed to get a lot more? Okay, so funny thing here. If we compare the 70 power limit here of the 2070 Super, we were getting 57.28 at 152 watts. But at 70% power limit on the 2080 Super, we're getting... 68.9 mega hash but at 175 watts so you guys see the, the the difference here between 50 power limit and 70 power limit we, we, we basically gained about another 18 17 mega hash more on vertcoin but we had to use another 50 watts okay so I like to see that there, yeah, there's a big, there's a big difference in power consumption uh, versus the 2070 Super when changing the power limits here. But now, if you guys look, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about the rest of the coins now. 
you guys can see the disparity between all the rest of the coins here. Um, let's just do. I'll talk about another one. Let's do. Um, let's do. Uh, let's do a eternity for example. So a eternity, I have 8.15 graphs per second at 122 watts. So that's at 58 power limit. But now, 50 power limit, 124 watts, 125 watts is 6.3 graphs per second on the 2080 Super. So the 2070 Super, we're able to get two graphs more than the 2080 Super. So obviously the 2070 is a better, yeah, better efficiency here. Uh, but then, you know, if you run it at 70 power limit, but you get 9.16 graphs per second at 180 watts, though. You, you use a lot more power. So, okay, now I want to, f I want to explain my opinion on why I think the why the disparity the 2070 super is just a lot better for mining now we take a look at this graph here so what Nvidia did to make these super cards they just they pretty much just added the name super on the end of their RTX 2080 2070 and 2060 cards right but okay for example the 2060 cards they have the same chip, the Turing TU-106 chip, uh, but the 2060 Super add, adds a bit more GPU cores, more tensor cores, a little bit more RT cores, texture units, render outputs, base clock, um, let's see. But the biggest thing here is that the memory bus width is up to 256 bit now instead of 192. And then you guys can see the memory bandwidth has gone up from 3... Uh, 336 gigabytes per second to 448 gigabits per second and then the memory capacity above that is changing from 6 gigabytes to 8 gigabytes okay so the 2060 super definitely I guess I should have done the difference between the 2060 and 2060 super but you guys can see the hash rates for these definitely it's a lot a lot better but now let's go to the 2070 Super where I think it makes the big difference and where I think the 2070 Super is the best buy if you were to choose from any of these three cards is that the T the, the, the 2070 Super has the TU-104 uh, ar GPU architecture chip. Okay, so the last, the 2070 before, before it had TU-106 chip, okay, around the same chip as the uh, t uh, 2060. So, but the big difference here, we see a lot more GPU cores, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I think the reason why we're getting a lot better hash rates, it's not because of the memory bus width. We, as you guys can see, it's the same. The memory bandwidth is the same. Um, memory capacity is the same. The TDP is the same. But the biggest difference is the GPU architecture, okay? So it's grabbing the, the 2070 Super is grabbing the chip from the 2080 as you guys can see here. So the RTX 2080, the TU-104 chip is now on the Turing, uh, the TU-104 chip for the 20, 2070 Super. Now, you look at the 2080 Super, it's still the same chip. Uh, nothing, nothing too crazy, a little, bit, a little bit more stuff is added, but it's the same chip. And I, I, yeah, I'm confused why we're getting less hash rate on I mean, I guess not confused, but it, it kind of makes sense because when we up the power limit, we're getting a lot more hash rate compared to the 2070, but we're using a bit more power consumption compared to the 2070. If we compared the hash rates here, like Grin 29, for example, 8.66 graphs per second at 70 power limit, we're doing 150 watts, but the, the 2080 Super, we're doing 9.02 graphs per second at 170 watts. So... Oh, sorry, yeah. Actually, what would you rather do? The 8.10 graphs per second at 125 watts or the 9.02 graphs per second at 170 watts? I'd probably do the 2070 Super. So that's my reasoning why I think the the 2070 Super is still doing well. Um, maybe because the 2080 Super that I tested here was not binned pretty well. I don't know. Maybe it was a lower binned chip, a T104 chip compared to the EVGA 2070 Super that I tested here. Um, interesting, interesting. So there we go, guys. I have all the hash rates combined here. And I forgot to mention, I have a Google Sheet of all this 
And you guys can look at this uh, in the description. It's linked in the description. You guys can take a look at this if you want. Uh, compare compare your numbers. Look at the hash rate numbers that I got. And uh, yeah, it's it's kind of interesting to look at. And obviously, I think the most profitable card, if price was not a factor, it would be the 2070 Super. But if price is a factor, looking at all the hash rates, I, I think I would still go for the 2070 Super. Like I said here, it's the 2060 Super is a great card, but you know it may be worth to shell out the extra hundred bucks for the 2070 Super to get that extra 20 to 30 percent better hash rate in other algorithms. And yeah, the 2080 Super, well, in my testing, doesn't seem to be a good card for mining, and for the price, it doesn't make any sense. You know, 720 to 860 dollars USD, and the 2070 Super is about 500 to 550 USD, and then the the RTX 2060 is about 400 to 420 USD. So, anyway, anyways, guys, let me know what you think. That was really fun to make. Um, just comparing these three RTX supers together, and yeah, in terms of profitability, right now, obviously, mining is kind of a little bit low right now. But if you were to buy new cards, the 2070 Super, in my opinion, would be a really great buy. Heck, maybe even maybe even the older RTX 2080s. Uh, which I'm, I actually have a video about that. So maybe I'll do some comparisons between a 2070 Super and a 2080. But anyways guys, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to see more hash rate videos, I have a playlist on my channel called GPU Hash Rate Videos. And I have a bunch of the hash rates here you guys can take a look at. Um, all the different cards. But thanks for watching. Smash the like button, all that good stuff. If you, if you feel like using my affiliate links down below on Amazon, Feel free to do so, helps me out, helps out the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.